Hi, uh, this is an update to my Kindle Fusion project. So initially the idea was that you would highlight some text within a Kindle novel and then it would go away and draw the picture of, of the text that you've um, that you've highlighted there. Um, but while working on that, it interested me more to have a look at using it as a picture frame. Um, so it, I've set it up so that you can either use a local automatic 1111 or use uh, the online service stable hard. Um, so currently it's just passing images through from um, uh, from Automatic 1111 via another script so it just monitors for the uh, folder that the images are being created in and then each time there's a new image it passes it over. Um, but if I stop that um, then it also has uh, an, an interface running on each of them so if I set them back to the entry screen um, when you run it um, it'll come up with this screen which will show you your um, Kindle name and then in the top right hand corner your IP address um, so you, that's the one that you would connect to and the port that you need to connect on. Um, from here um, you can either do a lookup uh, with uh, Stable Horde or with um, Automatic 1111 again so if we just start off with um, uh, uh, Stable Horde that's the online service um, check with Stable, uh, Stable Diffusion it will um, as it's generating it, it'll show a number next to it, um, which is the uh, the queue at their end. So that gives you an idea as to how long to expect for the image to come through. Um, the way that I was previously doing it, because it comes back as a um, WebP format file rather than a PNG or a JPEG, the Kindle can't natively convert them. Uh, so I was having to run a separate... Um, uh, run a separate API that would do the conversion for it uh, but I've since worked out that I can do that all in JavaScript so it's doing it actually by in the browser window that you're requesting this in. Uh, so from this drop down here you get the choice to choose between um, converting it with JavaScript and, and uh, stable hard uh, using the old uh, API method and um, running the separate server or choosing um, automatic 1111. If you want to change this by default it gives you um, a, a anonymous key for the um, uh, stable hard so it's uh, all zeros and that means that uh, you're lower priority so we can get a uh, get your stable hard API key select that pop it in there and click OK um, but for now we're going to use automatic 1111 uh, and we're going to do an epic pencil drawing of the dragon on the hard of gold uh, so that should now show in this yeah um, and then, yeah, third one, do that with uh, with um, Stable Hard again. Giant Octopus attacking a sailing ship, epic drawing. Um, and then we're going to do the last one with um, uh, with Automatic 1111, a cat being crowned with a gem encrusted crown. Um, so once you've uh, generated them, oh, you can also pass them through via uh, an image upload. So you just browse to it, click upload, and it puts it there. Um, and then um, it also adds them to a list here. So if you just click update, and then that's a list of the uh, previous ones that you've generated. And if you click gallery, it'll load up a gallery. And from here, you can, you, you can change it. So if I change it to that Kindle picture, there we go. Um, and uh, you're also able to remove stuff from the gallery if you just click the X next to it, get rid of it. Um, and then um, there's all, also, you've also got an option for um, disabling the screensaver and enabling the screensaver that's on the Kindle itself, otherwise it'll go into kind of like a power save mode. Um, you can change the Kindle name, which is what shows on boot. And then there's Calm Mini. So from from a mobile, um, there's a, a web interface that uh, I made just running in a, a HTML file. Um, in, uh, to be able to use the voice with it, uh, it needs to either be running on um, SSL, or like on HTTPS, or um, it needs to be running locally. So previously, the, the only way to run it was to download that file to your... Um, to your phone and then load it separately. But if I go to Cam Mini now, this just loads straight from um, from the page. This gives you the, all of the functionality apart from the searching by audio. So if we open the camera, for example, I'm just going to take a photo of the other Kindle screen. And when I click go, 
you should then upload it. Um, and you can also um, upload an image, you can also search, so uh, yeah, uh, a dog, search that. Um, and then that will either search it in, um, um, it doesn't look that much like a dog to me, but um, I'm going to uh, tell you, yeah, you can either search that in um, Stable Hard or Stable Diffusion again. So uh, if you click the burger menu up at the top, you've got the option for um, automatic 1111 and you put in your IP address and um, remote config will take you to this full page. Um, the other way of doing it, so I had the only um, the only way that I could get it to uh, uh, browse to a local file on my phone was to use Opera. Um, but then, yeah, if you just download them into an Opera folder that it can read, and then um, oh, whoops, I actually searched that. I, I didn't mean to. Um, but that will, um, if we get an address here. Oh, yeah. Um, so this one, you put the address in in there for the um, for the Kindle, and then. <laughs> a cat in a wizard's hat. There we go. So this should now be doing a cat in a wizard's hat. And it's doing it with stable stable hard there, so that's why we've got the um the loading. Okay, um, so I've got a um, uh, I've got a GitHub up um, which will go through um, some of the steps for installing it. And if you still want the old functionality where you highlight the text from the book, that's included in the old version section up at the top. Um, I plan to introduce it, but it's like a, a toggle that you can choose within the um, um, like a toggle that you're able to choose within the web front end itself. Um, and um, if you've got any questions or you've got any suggestions, please let me know. Thanks a lot.